So the long-term trends, I think, are actually predictable in that sense of we can see where they have been going and they will tend to go in that direction, but the specifics are not at all predictable. So the genres are, the species are not. So um, an example would be the quadruped form is kind of inevitable. There's going to be them because that's the form in animal life. There's many, many forms of quadrupeds. Those are predictable, but the zebra is not. Okay? And so in the same sense, you could say telephones are inevitable. If you make wires, electricity, you're going to make a telephone system, but the iPhone is not predictable. It's completely contingent. Um, the internet was inevitable, but Twitter was not. The internet was inevitable, but the kind of internet that we could make or want to make, we have a choice in. Whether it's international, national, commercial or non-commercial, those are all choices that we had. They make a lot of difference to us and they're not inevitable. So I'm talking about the larger scale trends, the, the, the more of the biases built into this that are leaning in certain directions. And those directions, I think, are important because they are the main drivers and we can expect them and we can prepare for them. And um, they are going to do the large scale genre forms.